Hey guys, so today I have here this Harman Kardon SB30 subwoofer. This is the uh, subwoofer from the SB30 soundbar and it stopped working. So uh, you know, when you see when you plug this in then there's nothing turning on anymore at all. It's completely dead. Which usually means that the, uh, the power supply went bad. And so I want to try to fix this today here. I want to show you how I'm doing this. Okay, so first of all I make sure that I unplug this. So we're not connected to power anymore and then I'm turning this around here to take a look at the back side because that's where we're going to get access to everything that we need. So you can take a look here. First we're going to remove here the uh, screws on the on the outside. So there's 12 screws totally, right? So one small big screw and then a smaller screw a little bit further in. All those screws we're going to remove and then we can uh, get to the uh, PCB boards to uh, have a look. Okay, so it takes a little bit of effort to pry that backboard loose, but eventually you will see the same thing that I'm seeing here. Now, instead of just ripping out the board, you have to make sure that you first disconnect here these two harnesses here. So there's the power and then there's some controls. Make sure, uh, or I think it goes to an LED on the top. So here, this is the power. And then here, this second harness that goes to the top. Just remove those two connectors there. Yeah, okay, so this is what the boards look like. We have two boards here. On the bottom, this is the uh, power supply. This is where I'm suspecting something to be wrong. And here on the top, that's where the actual amplifier is. So then I'm taking off the uh, power supply so that we can have a better look at it. Uh, and first I'm going to do here a quick visual inspection. From this side, I don't see anything quickly obvious. But in here on the back side, if you take a really close look, then you can see here, here the solar joint that's kind of burnt. That doesn't look too good. And then also here, these other two areas, that's where the uh, MOSFETs are. Those also don't look too healthy. And if you look at the other side, then uh, you can see really quickly. You see the resistor, that does not look very healthy. That looks burnt. So that thing burned out. And my guess is that the uh, first the MOSFETs were going bad and then uh, the resistor had a little thermal event. And, uh, and then later on I also checked here the, this little fuse here that there is for continuity and that also that turned out to be uh, burned out. So I have to replace this one, then the uh, two MOSFETs and that resistor. And I'm going to check out if the uh, power supply works afterwards. Yeah, and so now here, this is how it looks like with the parts replaced. See here, the MOSFETs are actually not the same because the, those parts, the original parts were discontinued. So I had to use a slightly different ones. I'm going to put the part number down below so you can find it in case you need it. Okay, so now that the power supply is good again, we're going to install it. Everything back together here in reverse order. We don't forget any connectors here. Also, when we're putting it back into the uh, housing, now we are ready to go and try it out. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, then please leave a message below. And don't forget to check out my other videos here on YouTube.